At six, an armed robbery, carjacking, and police shootout on the east side of Indianapolis. The crime spree ended with one man dead, and the shootout caught on camera. And it all happened early this afternoon with multiple crime scenes in the area of Pendleton Pike and Post Road. Our senior investigative reporter Bob Siegel was at those scenes tracking the developments, and he joins us now with exclusive eyewitness video showing the terrifying crime spree. Bob? Well, the lone suspect is dead. Amazingly, there are no other deaths or injuries, but still lots of victims following an armed robbery, several crashes, and a gun battle that sent bullets flying through a busy business district. Police say it all started with an armed robbery at this hobby shop on Pendleton Pike. Police spotted the suspect driving a black Mustang, and moments later, he crashed that car into another vehicle nearby. That's when things took a big turn for the worse. The suspect got out of the vehicle and carjacked a second vehicle with victims inside. The police chase continued. You can watch here what happened next. 13 investigates obtained this surveillance video from a nearby business. It shows the suspect lose control and crash into a median at Post and Pendleton Pike. It appears the suspect tried repeatedly to pull one of his hostages out of the car, but he's unsuccessful. That's when police surrounded the car and the shootout begins. The driver of that vehicle, the suspect, exited the vehicle with a handgun, started firing shots at our officers. Our officers did return fire, uh, striking the suspect, uh, who was declared deceased by, uh, by medics when the scene was secured. We are not showing the moment the suspect was shot and killed. Police say the hostages in the car, they were not injured in the shootout. It was seen the officers exercised some, some significant discipline when it came to, to trying to neutralize the threat, address the, the ongoing threat, and save, and save lives. It's not clear just how many bullets were fired by Lawrence police and the suspect, but witnesses say they heard as many as 50 shots. I heard a 9mm and 45. It was back and forth. And some of the bullets landed here. One, two, three, four, and five holes. Jose Diaz owns a Mexican restaurant less than 100 yards from where the shootout took place. It's now riddled with bullets. Jose was inside the restaurant with his family and customers when he heard gunshots and shattered glass. Boom, boom. Oh, my God. I think it's somebody came. I don't know what's going on. I just is very scared. Lawrence police say this investigation is really just beginning. So many different scenes to process and so many people to talk to. Lawrence police and IMPD were both involved in pursuing the suspect today. We're told only Lawrence police fired shots. They've not yet released the name of the suspect who was killed this afternoon. That's one of many details we're still waiting on. We'll update you just as soon as police release more information.